Uh, friends, bienvenue à l'Ambassade de Canada. Welcome to the Canadian Embassy. We're very privileged to uh, uh, to host uh, the, the event tonight uh, to uh, help carry the torch that Paul Salucci so bravely carried uh, to find the cure uh, for ALS. In the last conversation that I had with the governor before he died, he said, Michael, I want to be sure that your efforts are not going to stop just because I'm not there. And you, by being here this evening, actually helped me to fulfill the pledge that I made to him that we would continue our efforts to find dollars so that we can actually cure this disease. When Paul was first diagnosed with ALS, we were both just devastated. Yet Paul moved quickly into action. He immediately saw an opportunity to continue his public service career. I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> we were plunging right back into public life, just as we'd had a little bit of time as private citizens. But this effort was very different. Unbelievably more difficult environment than just a political campaign. Since 2011, many have stepped up to support the Champion Fund. Our family, neighbors, childhood and hometown friends, political leaders, the vast, very diverse network of his former political supporters. Paul was so encouraged and inspired by the support of each and every one of those contributions. And he hoped that the Champion Fund would continue, even after he was no longer able to lead it. Paul and I lived with ALS for five years, yet we were always uplifted and sustained by our doctor's appointments. <laughs> we were always uplifted and sustained by the knowledge that Paul was under the care of an extraordinary clinician researcher. Together with his colleagues in Worcester and around the world, Dr. Brown was steadily unlocking the mysteries of this disease during Paul's struggle with ALS. Paul knew right from the beginning that the time frame from research to an effective therapy and a cure was not the time frame that we were given. Did not deter Paul. He was an amazingly strong and courageous man. And Paul firmly believed that Dr. Brown would ultimately succeed. Paul's spirits and spirit is in our midst tonight, soaring out there with his unending encouragement and hope.